I'm here with Cougar women's head soccer coach Chris Brown. Cougars coming off a busy three-game week, uh, a couple tough results, but very aggressive on the attack uh, this week. Uh, coach, first off, I know a congratulations is in order. Wednesday was a very busy day for you, uh, going from having a newborn child to that Beloit game. Uh, I have to say, how are you holding up? Uh, you know, it's a wonderful joy to uh, have our first son be born and uh, lucky enough that my wife is the rock star she is and understands the coaching world to let me uh, leave the hospital later on that day and go coach a game. So I'm thankful for her, thankful for a healthy young boy and uh, exciting time here. Cougars have three games this week that go one and th uh, excuse me, one and two in those results. Uh, coach, I thought you guys came out this weekend especially very aggressive uh, with quite the dominating performances, only getting one positive result out of those. Uh, assess your team's performance this week. Yeah, I think, you know, you hit it. You know, one positive result out of three is, is never a good thing. But I think we learned a lot on Wednesday where we thought we were ready, things didn't go our way, um, and just didn't perform at the level we're capable of. So it was a, a big, um, I would have to say, like stab, a, a dive at us, and something that we need to refocus ourselves and, and let it go. and get back on the weekend. And then we hit the weekend and I thought our performances were fantastic. Uh, the standard and work rate that we have challenged ourselves to get to and desire to be was there. Unfortunately, Saturday we were on the wrong side of a result that uh, unfortunately happens a lot in, the so in soccer. Uh, Sunday was the idea to get after it and continue to put pressure and create our own luck. and. You know, we found a way to do that, and once we got one, it felt like we were going to get plenty more after that. One person we want to talk about, first going off your defensive side of the ball, Cougars not allowing a shot to McMurray yesterday, done a fantastic job as Christina Kiotis, really being the anchor in that backside of the Cougar defense. Sure, yeah, definitely a, a change for her. She's been mostly in the midfield, but we felt that we need to make a few adjustments here and, and find out a way to maybe clean up our back line, which was struggling at times a little bit. And, you know, just her, her leadership, her voice, and her demeanor really helped kind of anchor that back line this weekend and, and bring a fresh of breath air and confidence to it and maybe even a little bit of swagger. So it was nice to see us uh, be a little bit cleaner in the back, and obviously that helps us get forward a little bit more and, and do the things we want to do in the attack. Cougars scoring seven goals yesterday against McMurray College. Natalie Weinhold picking up one, also picking up an assist in that game. She, she picked up a lot of her attack from last year this week, I thought. Yeah, I think we've been really coaching up uh, our attacking pieces, but also some of our central players and figuring out and helping them understand the right time to get into the attack and the right movements to, to get in. And I think... Natalie sorted herself out a lot this weekend, and especially yesterday, um, just making a few adjustments in her game to recognize those moments, and it paid off for her, and paid off for the team. Also need to talk about Elizabeth Sanders. Of course, she's always been up in the attack for you guys this year, and she's always such an active player. Also her along with Alexandra Dragle, Christina Bellman, all those players really getting involved this week. Yeah, I think, you know, again, playing back-to-back -back games allows for a lot of playing time for a lot of players just because we just don't have the legs to get through it. So it's nice that we have a deep roster and we can utilize a lot of different players, but we also have the depth, I think, and the players are growing. And I think you saw that, that this weekend and with Liz getting more involved as her role is adjusted a little bit to being a striker for us. And then Zandra and Christina as freshmen getting – involved in the game and earning some minutes uh, proved to be well. So it's, it's a good start, good start for us. Cougars have two matches this week, one with North Central College on Wednesday evening, and then they will kick off the conference schedule on Saturday afternoon at Marion. Coach, what is your plan for the week to get ready for a big match against North Central College, who's always a good soccer program, and as well as Marion, one of the bigger Cougar soccer rivals? Yeah, for us, I think it's just, you know, getting ourselves fine-tuned, getting healthy, you know, back-to-back -back games. Now we got to find a way to recover today, uh, regen, and, and get ready to train tomorrow and prep for North Central, fine-tune some of those kinks before we head into uh, conference play, and, and that's when the real season for us starts, I think, is, is Saturday. But we're going to fine-tune and clean up our details and get after it this weekend. 
Awesome, Coach. Thank you for your time today. Uh, good luck this week, and go get them. Awesome. Thanks, guys.